bad things happen in everybody's life. People get sick, they get hurt, they move away, they lose their jobs, they change jobs. Someone you love dies. What do you do when that happens? How do you feel? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman. I'm so glad you joined us today for Metaphysical Ministry International. Metaphysical Ministry is all about the spiritual part of life. It's not about religion. And it addresses the 99% of reality that you cannot see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. In fact, it's the philosophy that explains quantum physics, how you create your reality. We begin every week with a happy share. And if you've been with me the past two years, you know the fact that I'm speaking pretty clearly. That's pretty darn amazing. It's an enormous happy share for me because this is the second day in a row I've had a voice. So I'm still learning how to speak again after losing my voice in brain surgery and even follow-up surgery. Feels really good. I'm very grateful. So what do you do when something bad happens to you? Well, you have a choice. You can feel bad about it. You can give in, you can give up, and you can say, that's life, that's just what happened. You can look for somebody to blame. But the fact is, you're responsible for everything that goes on in your life because you get to choose how you respond and how you feel and what action steps you do or don't take. I'm so excited to share with you that I'm doing a big, big book launch on Friday, May 2nd. Now, that's going to happen here in Boise, Idaho. However, you can join us. I'll be putting up information on the site, and I'll put that site down below. It's thrivedontjustsurvive.com with no punctuation at all. The reason this is a big deal is I recognize my whole life long the universe gave me these extraordinary talents, the gift to be able to compose music, to write, to sing, to do art, to teach so that people understand, among many other things. And the universe also my whole life long created these very much out of the ordinary health issues. If there was something in the world that less than 1% of people had happened to them, it happened to me. And I finally put together last week that the universe gave me the gift of being a teacher to help people who are stuck, who feel hopeless because someone told them following an injury has happened to me, Learn to live with it. This is as good as it gets. Or maybe someone told them they couldn't possibly live their dreams because they're not smart enough. They're not good enough. They're not tall enough or short enough. Or they're not pretty enough. Whatever it is, if your hopes have been taken away, what I want you to know is that's just other people's opinions. It's the paradigms they live in, and you can choose them all buy into them. So my book is called Thrive, Don't Just Survive. Because yes, my mind, my body, everything's been altered drastically. Yes, I have to pay attention so I can speak to you. Yes, I have to pay attention to how I swallow and how I walk and how I run and do everything that I used to take for granted, that used to happen automatically. And because I do that, my life gets better and better every single day so that I'm able to thrive. And it's my goal to reach millions of people with this message. Because I don't care what your circumstances are. It's what you do with it up here that determines whether you watch life go by or you live life full out. So I've been singing a lot. Let's see if I still have enough voice to sing Thrive, Don't Just Survive. Thrive, don't just survive. 
Everything always happens perfectly. Thrive, don't just survive. Take a step back, you'll see it's true. Nothing accidentally happens to you or to anybody else. The universe talks to you constantly. Guide me toward your best life. It starts with a whisper that moves to the nudge. If the universe sees and felt a budge, it gets planted in your face. Pushing you to take your place in community. Up, look around, you will then find the strength in your life is a gift meant to uplift. Each crisis is an opportunity to step in a new direction. Look at all the dots in your world. It's time to make the connection and thrive, don't just survive. Thrive, don't just survive. The universe throws your way So to move you to a brighter day Step out of the box Get out of your own way It's time to play Hey! It's your choice To stay stuck in the muck It's your choice Create your own luck And you do it with A gratitude With attitude It's no gratitude For all that is, I'll be grateful for all that is not. And thrive, don't you survive? Thrive, don't you survive? Thrive, don't you survive? Everything that happens is either good or bad. You choose to feel happy or you choose to feel sad. It's a choice you make and you dream it well. It's your life. Choose to win it and thrive. In every moment, your soul is home. I'm perfect in every way. Einstein would say, reality is but an illusion. I'll be in a persistent one. Thrive, don't you survive? It's place to start and never the end goal. Happiness is not events. It's a way of living from your heart and your soul. So, you choose to be happy no matter how your life looks. And you discover true happiness and it's a way better than what you find in books. Try, don't just survive. Try, don't just survive. Try, don't just survive. Try, don't just survive. Well, I just survived that when my guitar kept slipping out of my lap. And you know what? You can survive anything that's happening in your life by making the choice to do so. And remembering reality is an illusion in your soul. Your soul is whole, and it's perfect in every way. Your body may not look that way. Your body may not seem that way. You might have to work really hard just to have a normal day. I know I sure do. Is it worth it? You better believe it. It's worth every bit of effort. It's worth doing whatever it takes to play, to live life full out. Now, if you're on our ministry page and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold the Space for it. Let us know what it is you would like to have in your reality. And come back at least once a week. Let your family and friends know it's there. Read each name. Read each request. The universe knows who they are. You don't have to. And you will see whatever it is you ask for come to you faster. 
because your thought going out to the universe, the universe acts on it, but when it sees how serious you are, as other people are supporting you, that thought form goes from your one person to five, ten, fifteen, a hundred, a thousand people. The universe isn't going to miss that. Now, if you haven't done so already, go in over there, get your copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And I really appreciate your clicking like and share because I do this ministry online because I couldn't find a place where people think and feel spiritually exactly the way I do. And I figure you're here for the same reason and probably a whole lot of other people you know are also seeking their spiritual home. And again, spirituality and religion are two different things. I wish you a wonderful week filled with blessings to play for, to make at least one change in your world so that you can thrive. Don't just survive. Many blessings.